This is Dan, and this is the Napkin Academy. This is the online school where I'd like to help you, whoever you are, become a great visual thinker. And I know we can do it, but I also recognize that probably a lot of people start out by saying, Dan, I can't be a visual thinker because you know what? I don't know how to draw. I can't draw. So therefore, you know what I hear? I'm not visual. Well, you know what we're going to do at the Napkin Academy is we're going to go from being that person very easily to being the person over here who says, wait a minute, I am visual. In fact, I now know how to draw anything. I know how to draw any problem I have. I know how to draw out any idea I might have. I might know how to draw out any solution that I have. That's what we're going to do on the Napkin Academy. Let me tell you just a little bit about myself. This is me, and these are a couple of books that I've written over the last few years, and I'm happy to say that both books have gone out and done really well, which has been really exciting. I have a simple proposition that is behind everything that I've written in these books. My proposition is this. We can solve our problems with pictures. I like to break that proposition down into three questions. The first is, what problems are we talking about? The answer is, all of them. Any problem that we have the ability to talk about, we have the ability to visualize and to make a lot clearer through the use of pictures. So question number two is, well, which pictures are we talking about? Are they really complicated? Are they really hard to draw? No. In fact, we're going to find that there are just five basic pictures we can draw. A square, a circle, a triangle, a line, and some kind of a blob. And to show you how simple these pictures are, I'd like to do something. In a moment, I'm going to ask you to pause this clip. But before you do, here's what I'm going to ask you to do while it's paused. I would like you to run out and grab a sheet of blank paper. And then I'd like you to go out and grab a pen. Okay, I want you to go out and do those things if you would. Grab them, pause the video when you need to, come back, and let's turn it on. Because what I'd like you to do while you've got your piece of paper is I want you to draw along with me. I want you to draw these shapes. I want you to draw that square. Draw it on your own sheet of paper. I want you to draw a circle. I want you to draw a triangle. I want you to draw a line. And I want you to just go out and draw me a blob. If you can draw those five things, I guarantee it, you can draw your way out of any problem. Which is going to take us back to question number three. Which people are going to be these amazing visual problem solvers? Who is this person going to be? Hmm, interesting question. Well, you know what? We already determined the answer because you just saw how easy it was to draw those five shapes. So guess who's going to be this person? It's going to be you. Now, you know a little bit about me. I'd like to talk a little bit about you because I'm trying to imagine who you might be. And I'm guessing that you might be a business person. You might be a designer. You might be, I don't know, an engineer. Perhaps you're someone in finance. Oh, maybe you're a consultant. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you're uh, an accountant. Maybe you're someone who's in sales. Uh, maybe you're a writer. Heck, I don't know. Maybe you're even a pilot. Whoever it is that you are, whatever one of these jobs, profiles, careers that you have, I know that through the lessons that we're going to talk about, we can help ourselves become much better at solving whatever type of problem it is that any one of us faces on a day-to-day -day basis as we go about trying to do our work and frankly, just live our lives. As I sit on my side of this computer drawing these pictures, here's, here's something I imagine about you. I imagine that you, you're probably going to fall into one of two essential profiles. I'll bet you that you're sitting right now at a computer, maybe at home, maybe at work. Uh, maybe you want to put your headphones on if you're at work because we're going to be a little bit loud. We're going to do a little bit of drawing. Or maybe you're someone who's on the road and you've got your little mobile device. Well, here's what I'd like you to do. I want to add something to this picture as we go through the rest of the Napkin Academy because this is the perfect place for you to be to get started. But again, there's that something that you need and you already collected it. I want to add something to this picture. I want to imagine that you're there on the computer. And what I really want you to have is a pen and a piece of paper. If you're on your mobile device, I want you to find a way to get a pen and a piece of paper. Because what I really want you to do is whenever I draw something, I want you to draw it along with me. I draw a circle, I'd love it if you would draw a circle. When I draw a triangle, I'd love it if you would draw a triangle. If I could draw a chart, I'd like you to 
go ahead and draw that chart. Now, if you need to, again, slow things down, take a break, take a pause, go for it. But then in the end, come on back and we're going to keep on moving. Lots of things to cover, lots of pictures to draw. Now with your pen and your piece of paper, as we get started through the Napkin Academy, we're going to find that we have a couple of different kinds of lessons. I'm going to share with you some ideas about process. The process of visual problem solving. The process of visual thinking. I'm going to share with you some tools. The tools of visual thinking. How do we go about figuring out a way to look at a problem and come up with a way to draw it? We're going to go through some exercises. That's right. I'm going to say, imagine if you were doing this. What kind of picture might you draw to help clarify it? We're going to go to work and we're going to do a lot of effort as we go through these exercises. And then sometimes we're going to look at case studies. And these are going to be secret business success stories told from the secret silver case with little locks on it, of course, and probably, oh, I know, it's probably got a handcuff on it, too, that's locked to someone's hand. Secret case studies pulled from the business archives of places where pictures have made a big difference in business. And that's what the Napkin Academy is all about. Some simple tools and some simple rules that will help us be able to look at any problem and figure out a way to make it visually 